Hey folks, so today we're back with another American lock. This is the model 5300. Uh, it's sort of, as far as I can tell, the inspiration for those Brinks uh, shrouded padlocks that we were looking at recently. Uh, but this one is a standard American lock, uh, the usual uh, core. It's only got five pins in it. There's the uh, key, so the rest of the binning is not terribly impressive, but uh, this first extremely long pin is going to probably trip us up a little bit. Uh, but as usual, the thick Peterson pry bar, we're going to use the long end uh, to get past that caning plate and the uh, 18 thousandths Peterson short hook. I'm just going to reach in there, start feeling around, and Got to make sure you're not riding on the warding. I'm not sure if this is number three or number four, but it's giving us some resistance. Okay, uh, this is probably number three. Not much of a false set going on, but there's something there. further back, no. The trick with American lock is because of these serrated pins, you really have to just very carefully go one by one and hope that you don't overset them. Okay, number five was just giving us something. It's still... Oh, look at that. Open. So, Got that Phillips head screw there. Let's get that out. Really tricky to do this entirely through the camera one, uh, the viewfinder of the camera. But there we go. There's the retaining plate out, and there's the plug. And now that's out. And yeah, there was a blocking wafer in there. We'll just let that stay where it is for now. All right. So we've got a uh, copper C clip here. I'll just try to slide that off without losing the cylinder. So I'm just going to try to use the key to control the rotation. Okay. We want to put a bit of a fight here. Let's see if we can pry it off this way. There we go. See clip off. Make sure we don't drop anything. want and get our follower which now well, we're gonna have to lock this up again so with American lock unless you have a little half moon uh, follower you're gonna get caught up on there there we go off nice and smooth. Let's see what we've got. Pin one, very long, serrated. Two, medium and serrated. Three, medium and serrated. Four, medium and serrated. And five, medium and serrated. But, you know, this is an American lock, so what do we expect? And the Drivers, let's see what we've got. Uh, serrated spool, uh, serrated, 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 and serrated. Well, that explains why we didn't really get a false set, because uh, you see this maximum length pin in the first chamber basically barely. Uh, 
drops below the shear line, even when uh, even when it's on no lifting pressure or anything. It's just sitting at rest at, as far down as it can go, which means that that spool pin never actually gets a chance to go into a false set. So that's a bit of an unfortunate decision there. And I'm dropping springs all over the floor. I'm never going to find those. But there you go. So that is probably the most awkwardly pinned uh, American lock I've ever dealt with. So, what I will say until next time is uh, if you are pinning these yourself, make sure you don't pair your maximum length uh, driver pins with a spool pin. Put the spool pin uh, in here with one of these medium or short guys. Because uh, otherwise, that spool pin basically doesn't actually add any security. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, have fun and happy picking. <laughs>